Hi there, and welcome to Steve's showroom. Today I've taken out one of my most favorite vehicles. Today I have the, uh, the Tundra. I miss driving trucks, I really do. They're totally different. So one wonderful thing about these trucks is they're 100% overbuilt. So like it is a half ton, it's a half ton truck but uh, she's overbuilt. So it's built like a three quarter ton, but it's not a three quarter ton. I can't say that and I won't say that. Like one of the impressive things about these is that the frame, that it's a triple tech frame. So in the front is a fully boxed frame. In the middle is a reinforced C channel. So it's like this, but it's got a second wall inside of it. And in the rear end, it's just an open C channel. So it's a single wall for uh, weight to lighten up the frame a ton and also gives the frame a lot of articulation so the vehicle can off-road better, go through the rough stuff a lot more smoothly. But it is also the same frame that uh, concrete trucks use, the same style frame. So if it works for them, it definitely works for the Tundra. And another great thing, this guy in the back, of course, leaf springs. and. The shocks as well though, are put on the outside of the frame. So that way, having on the outside of the frame actually gives the truck less body roll, makes it more comfortable. And gives you better handling at the same time. So all Tundras, all Tundras are 5.7 liter V8, but out of all the V8s on the market, this is the least thirsty V8 at 14 liters per 100. And it sounds like a lot, but it is a V8. It is a five liter V8, but it is the most efficient five liter V8 currently being sold. In the older days, Tundras were deemed to be probably one of the thirstier girls, but that's because they actually had a smaller fuel tank that's been since updated to 144 liters compared to the old days. So with a 144 liter tank, it won't seem as thirsty anymore. So you're actually gonna feel like it's getting the better ga gas mileage on the V8. Having owned a truck in the past, not a Tundra unfortunately, but having owned a truck in the past, I know uh, how poorly trucks can handle, especially around larger bends like I'm on right now and how uncomfortable the ride can be without any weight in the back. The Tundra, totally fine. I do call the, the Tundra a luxury truck because it really is. And with the Tundras as well, they come with Toyota Safety Sense, of course, like all Toyotas nowadays. So you got dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert. So when you're backing out, if someone's coming at you from the side, it'll warn you. It'll say, hey, watch out, there's somebody coming on the right, which is definitely handy. Love the display on the, on the Tundra too. It looks like a, a modern truck, your instrument cluster. Got a big eight inch touch screen. Our 2020s now, as well, they come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you got both options nowadays. We also introduced a push button start finally in the Tundra. So that's a nice, nice little upgrade. Uh, I've got in this particular TRD Off-Road Premium, this one's got embedded navigation straight from Toyota. You can use your Apple Maps or your Google Maps if you prefer to use your Apple CarPlay or your Android Auto, but as well, with that, plugging in your phone gives you a little bit better sound quality. Oh, she, she goes. Um, versus Bluetooth, because Bluetooth has to compress the file and the, the sound will never be quite the same compared to a plugged in, especially through a USB. And they're, they're huge. They're huge inside. It's like the TARDIS, you've got so much space. So this particular one I've got, I've got the Crew Max. So it's got the enormous back seat. Your back seat actually gets more space than the front. 
so that when you guys are off to your job sites, your crew can be more comfortable than the boss driving, which is pretty nice. Or kids, if you've got kids and you want to truck. That just sounds like a V8. Drives beautifully. Nice, smooth. You do have a sequential gear shifter in these too, just to help you out a little bit. Electronic transfer to four high and four low, which is very useful. Towing control, it's got uh, trailer sway control. So when you're towing something and it starts to wander, the truck will actually pick up on that and apply the brakes where the brakes need to be applied to stop the trailer. And often it'll do that before the drivers even notice that the trailer's starting to go. That's super nice. Great safety feature added in by Toyota. all over the place. I got my SOS button right here for uh, Safety Connect from Toyota. The Connected Services by Toyota. Just looking around and mention all the other things. There's a lot. There's got two USB, three USBs in the front. Since one's the data USB, the one for your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, the other one two are for just charging. This one's got parking sensors on it too. So you know when you get a little bit too close to that thing in front of you. Heated seats, obviously. Traction control, obviously. ABS, obviously. Many things that it should have, it does have. Nice big comfortable steering wheel to get you through those locking points. So, having mentioned that this is the big V8, 5.7 liters, you're at about 14 liters per 100. The range this is currently displaying right at this very moment is 826 kilometers. That's a very long ways. It's a very, very long way on a single tank. Because this one is full. We did fill up this tank. 826 kilometers. That's insane. My Corolla does 680 on a full tank, and that's a four banger. So it's very impressive for this to be more than <laughs> almost three times the size of engine as mine. Can get that much further. But as I mentioned earlier, the ride is like it rides like a truck, but like a comfortable truck ride. You still get that kind of floaty feeling because the suspension obviously is set up to take some weight. Tundras can tow up to 10,000 pounds, but it depends on the model you get. So depending on the model will change the weight because the weight of the truck will affect your towing weight. So the more features you add into your truck, the less you're gonna add, lane departure alert, the less you're gonna be able to tow which does make sense, it's just safety. Safety is good. But, the Toyota Tundra did pull the space shuttle. It did tow the space shuttle, which was 325,000 pounds. Now this test was done by Toyota, but is not at all recommended by Toyota. If you have a space shuttle that needs moving, I would suggest you don't use your Tundra. You can, but I wouldn't, personally. So, as a truck should, it seems to get a little bit of roll through the corner. Nothing outrageous, I'm still able to do 60 around that on-ramp. comfortable and quiet in the cab. <clears throat> You've got real buttons, which are part of your infotainment system, which is handy. You know, when you're bumping around, you got a real button hit. These guys do have Sirius XM. If you 
one of those people that likes satellite radio. If you're not like me, and you like streaming music, like Google Play Music, that's fine. You can do it through your Apple CarPlay or your Google or your Android Auto. <coughs> Apologies, I am starting to get sick just like everybody I know, which is not great. Blind spot monitor working for this lady who is tearing up beside me. Real question, will you cut me off? No. That's nice. Moonroof in this model. Just helps open up the cab and make it feel brighter. It's something I really enjoy. A lot of people really enjoy. Of course, if it's too bright, just close it. But I like it open. I always have mine open. This particular Tundra as well, we put the uh, Tanya cover on the back, hard trifold. Something I highly suggest so people don't take your skis out of the back. There are these guys too. Your back seats, they fold them right up. So if you've got dogs and you don't want them on your nice soft X leather seats, you just fold the back seats up and then they'll just run around on the carpet back there, which is fine. They're not scratching up the perforated leather. Perforated, not perforated, that's one of my bad. Normal weather. Using that dynamic radar cruise control now. Just holding my distance. Got it set to do a certain speed, which is the speed limit, because I have never once in my life exceeded the speed limit, especially during these videos. Um, just hold the speed for me. Keep the distance between me and the vehicle in front. I really don't have to do much work. Which I like. I don't like having to do work. Extra work at that. I really, really do like the instrument in this instrument cluster. Very clean. Got your oil pressure. Got your battery voltage. You know, truck things. Things your truck should have. Your fuel indicator, your engine temperature, speedo, and tachometer, you know, just things that you'd want. One nice thing too about the Tundras, largest disc, disc, mm, largest disc, disc brakes in class. 13 and a half inches ventilated disc brakes so that you can stop that 10,000 pounds that you're towing. I don't know where this goes, let's find out. Oh, I know where this goes. Just gotta focus here, make sure I get my timing right. So, have you watched a T-bone? A lot of very impressive things about the Tundra. Those those brakes are unbelievable. 13 and a half inches. That's huge. And that's seriously that's to stop the weight that you're towing. We also have the uh, largest rear diff gear at I believe it's oh, four to eleven. I'm probably butchering the way you say that. I'm sorry. Four, four, it's 411. That's what it is. So. It's the largest one in class for the half tons. That really helps you out with your towing. Oh, this is a serious speed racer. You'll see him here. No indicator. Just flying by. convenience features like heated seats, heated mirrors. That rear window in the back, you know all trucks have that big flat rear window. That rolls down and it's heated to stop the fog or the ice. Also a really nice convenience feature. Again if you've got dogs
dogs were being able to roll down that whole back window rather than just a little middle bit. This is a great feature. Dual zone automatic climate control. I don't know, actually, it's getting toasty. It's nice about the truck, it'll ride, like obviously it's a truck, it rides high, but it doesn't feel like unbelievably high, like it's unwielding. <clears throat> of course you can lift it if you want, it's not suggested by Toyota to lift the trucks, because the safety features on the truck are set for this, this height. It's my, uh, see my co-worker coming to work here in her TRD Pro 4Runner in army green. Very cool. God, I love that color. It even looks good dirty. It's supposed to look good dirty. It's a 4Runner. I'll be doing a 4Runner video fairly soon, but I don't know which one I should take out. We have a few options on the 4Runners. You got the Limited, you got the SR5, you got the TRD Pro, you got the TRD Off-Road. So if you want, feel free to leave a comment and I will uh, take out that 4Runner or if there are any other vehicles that you might have some curiosity about in the Toyota world and the Toyota family, let me know and I'll do a, a review video. I'll take it for a spin. I like doing this. This is fun for me. It means I'm not in the office. So yeah, like I said, feel free, leave a comment, let me know what you'd like me to drive next. I would specifically like to do a 4Runner, but any other vehicle is fine too, or even another uh, another Tundra. Because like I said, this one is a TRD Off-Road Premium. Just let me know. Like, share, subscribe. And thanks again for joining me in Steve's showroom, where I get to show you all things Toyota. Thanks.